Oh. Oh, you're back again. I was just cleaning my pipe. Nice to see you. Who are you at the back? I've never seen you before. What's your name? Alf. You know I don't do any of this stuff. I wasn't cleaning my pipe. I've never cleaned a pipe in my life. Without further ado, I'm Jack of the Havana Gentleman. Welcome, welcome, one and all. The video I'm doing for you today is going to be another pipe tobacco review. I've been doing a few pipes today. I uh, get on a bit of my pipe spree. I love it. I love it. I'm really into cigars at the moment again, but I haven't had my pipe for a couple of weeks. Um, I've just had a bowl of the On the Town. You might have seen that, the Frogmore On the Town. I might have, might have uploaded. <laughs> I might have uploaded that one first, or I might upload this one first. Only time will tell. This picture behind me. The Arnold Schwarzenegger picture. Oh, doesn't fit in the studio well. If you'd like a piece of your own, there is a chap to contact who did this drawing. He was a very skilled sketcher. His name is DC Graphite Sketch. His links will be down below. I thoroughly recommend, you know, doing any pieces from him. He's done loads of pieces. He's done um, Robin Williams, he's done Arnold, he's he could do anything, you know. He could do your cat if you if you wanted. Very talented chap. The reason I mention this. And the best place to get them is on Instagram, by the way. The reason I mention that is purely because, along with my picture, he sent me some pipe tobacco. What tobacco is that, you may ask? You'll know, because it will say it in the video title. It is Mac Baron Cube. Is that in the screen? Yeah, that's in the screen. Little bag of Mac Baron Cube. Now, with Mac Baron, I've never tried any. I've heard about it. It's never been a brand that's jumped out to me. So I've never dabbled in it. I've always been tending towards more towards the Dunhill Peterson side of things. But uh, Mac Baron Cube, I'd never heard of it. I'd never, as I said, never knew anything about Mac Barons. I opened the picture, I put that up, and then I looked in the bag of tobacco, and I did this, and it sent me to heaven and back. What a beautiful smell this tobacco has. I mean, like fruit cake. When you put fruit, raisins, apples, baked crumble, when they go in the oven and they make that sweet smell that just lingers at you. That is the smell that this tobacco has. It's great. Very fruity smell. It's, it's my kind of tobacco and I think he, he knows that. I mean, having never met me, you know, it doesn't matter. Just from our videos, you know what tobacco we like and this is very much it. I mean, the smell. Go on, have a little smell. Yeah, it smells great, doesn't it? And we're going to be using... The Meerschaum, Meerschaum, a little Grim Reaper head one for maximum flavour. Your name is the Loose Loop Loopical Loopical. Could be wrong. You've sent me a cigar and I've tried it. The video yet to go up, but just to let you know, if you're watching this first, which you probably are, it's going up. I've done it. The reason I know that, and the reason he knows that, is because he is on the Discord server. The HG Club Discord, where the links will all be below, just like the the Instagram, it pops off all the time, and it's a chance for you guys to sort of chat to each other. And you know, I hope you enjoy it and get on get on that. I'll be on there and I'll be replying to everyone and you know having a chill out chat because I get bored in lockdown and chatting to you guys. Yeah, it's, it's a laugh. A load of great chaps in that chat. So if you guys get yourself down there, you want any advice, anything like that, you want to share what you've been smoking, it's a great community. Hit it up. Oh, Dean, or DC Graphite Sketch, but I know your name's Dean, so I'm going to say Dean. What a sweet tobacco, wow. Wow. I mean, then let's talk about the tastes first. Everyone's had a black cherry. You know, bar maybe some new beginners, most of them, it was one of my first tobaccos, has had a black cherry. And I mean, that is what I get with this tobacco. Room note, incredibly sweet. Taste note, incredibly sweet. Cherry taste. I mean, to me, if I was blindfolded, I would say black cherry. It's a really nice smoke. I enjoy that. This is this is what I, this defines what I like. I love of a daily. I would have a sweet tobacco. Maybe not this sweet, but you know, a really sweet tobacco, which this is. It's great. It's like the uh, you know we got like the American Caribbean coffees, things like that. Irish coffee, that kind of tobacco. It's just like that. Black cherry. 
Very easy smoke, very pleasant. Anyone could pick it up and smoke it and enjoy it. That's why I love these kind of tobaccos. If you've got a mate who's never done it, try a bit of this and then it, you know, it works out great. Everyone's happy. And don't get me wrong. I like my non-aromatics, but every company should have that one aromatic that people can just go to and just chill out with. I like a dessert, a fine dessert. A creme brulee to the mouth. That is what this tobacco is. I want to say this is McBaron's perfected aromatic. I'm going to have to try more McBaron. I'm really liking this. But I think it's fair to say that my taste buds have been cleansed with this beautiful Rubner. I mean, everything I've tried in the past few months has all been great. You know, I haven't had anything shit sent to me for a while. And uh, this is definitely not the start of that. This is absolutely lovely. I really enjoy it. It's probably a bit too sweet for me to smoke every single day, but I'd be able to, no hassle. So Mac Baron Q gets a bloody lovely out of 10 from me. As I say, a very sort of sweet pudding, creme brulee, toffee kind of note. In the room, sort of like a black cherry smell. You still get the cherry taste, it's that, it is that fruity, very sort of unnaturally fruity smell. I, I don't necessarily hate things that are unnaturally sweet. It's much better when they are. I think it just brings out more flavour and characteristic. But regardless, that's a great smoke. As I say, I come back to this point a lot. If you've got a partner that hates the smell of smoke, it's one of them. It's nice, it's fragrant. Might not want you doing it in the lounge, but, you know, step close. I might better do it on the porch and then maybe instead of down the road. But yeah, great tobacco. Dean, you've got a very talented hand for drawing and you've got a very talented taste bud set for pipe tobacco smoking. Uh, I very much appreciate that. That's going in the humidor, in the cellar, whatever you want to call it. And um, that's another one that I'll be smoking in the summer. That's a summer smoke in my eyes. But yeah, that's been all from me. I don't really know what more I can say. Definitely it's a bloody lovely. Maybe a nine. Not perfect, but bloody close to it. I think that is about all I can say. Thank you very much again, Dean. Your picture is there forever. If anyone else wants to send me in any artwork, it's going to be there and it's going to stay there. Unless the studio changes. But uh, yeah. Thank you very much. I've been truly, truly spoiled. I've been Jack from the Havana Gentleman. Without further ado, I'm going to be shooting off to get to the chopper. Arnold reference, if you didn't get it. So, uh, I'll be off to do that. Oh, get to the chopper!